The ultimate challenge for customs officials is to find weapons, drugs and dangerous products hidden among the millions of containers that cross our borders every day. Here in the commercial port of Gdansk, researchers are testing a technology that will allow more precise and quicker inspections. Approximately 3 million containers are handled each year at the Deepwater Container Terminal in Gdansk. This is a huge logistical challenge for customs officers who lead random controls to detect illegal and dangerous goods. The most important thing in our job is to be sure that in container is really this what is declared in the documents. That's why we use also non-intrusive inspection technologies that helps us to control the containers without opening. A fundamental help will come from seaboard technology, which has been tested here in Poland. Target materials such as cigarettes, drugs and weapons have been hidden in mock-up containers to set up a realistic scenario. This EU-funded project represents the next generation of cargo inspection devices, enabling officers to detect forbidden material more precisely and quickly. The customs officer, thanks to this technique, will have a lot of information about what is kept and what is hidden in the container, allowing them to avoid having to empty it. The inspection starts from the sniffer. A probe inserted in the container's door sucks the air inside and sends particles to a mini laboratory, which detects them in real time. The sniffer system is designed to extract volatile substances from the container, which can occur in the presence of explosives, drugs, tobacco products or people. It can even detect dust particles which could stick to traces of explosives or narcotics. The next step is the passive radiation detector. This procedure can be done in several ways depending on the size of the cargo. A truck can be analysed while passing through a portico, or by an equipped vehicle turning around the container, or by an operator using a manual device. The uh, nuclear weapon or the smuggled material irradiates radiation, gamma radiation, and these instruments are designed to detect that radiation completely passively, so they are looking for um, the radiation. They're not actually doing anything to trigger that radiation. The Seaboard project has improved the current X-ray radiation detection ability, enabling better material detection while the cargo is scanned. Furthermore, at the end of the inspection process, the results of the various devices are all gathered on a common interface, where they can be viewed by a customs analyst. This technology provides quicker results and a wider flexibility in terms of use. It's really very important for us to cope with all types of weather conditions on the ground and the different requirements of the various customs officers of Europe. This is our challenge to make our systems operational in all kinds of scenarios. These three instruments will soon go for a final test with two other additional devices at the seaport of Rotterdam, the largest terminal in Europe.